What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Yesterday we reported on the details from the Black Widow post credit scene, at least one of which seems to set up the supervillain team in the Thunderbolts, a production that's been rumored for Marvel Studios since 2018, and then just hours later from an industry insider confirming that the Thunderbolts may be headed to Disney Streaming Plus and will be revealed during one of the upcoming TV series. We're going to break down where this report's coming from, exactly which series they're going to show up in, and why Black Widow makes a lot of sense to preface this now, how this team may have existed before Infinity War and what it means for the upcoming Marvel Phase 4 and 5, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including a limited edition Infinity Saga box set. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around at the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, it's no secret that comic genre channels have been talking about the Thunderbolts team in the MCU for quite a while now, so much so that it's not a surprise we're finally going to get to see the formation of their team. What is quite shocking is how long their team may have been in formation over in the MCU. The roster feels already crowded, but we're going to get to that. Now, as reported from industry insider Jeremy Conrad yesterday over at MCU Cosmic, there's a really good chance that the Thunderbolts will be revealed in full during the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show, making a post credit scene during Black Widow the perfect opportunity to tease that. What's more, this could lead to a full-on spinoff on Disney Plus that would feature the supervillain team in their own series, as opposed to a Thunderbolts film, and I've argued that that would be a little awkward anyway considering where they're taking all this I feel like a TV show would be the perfect opportunity to flesh that out now we haven't seen what's the formation of a full supervillain team in the MCU just yet and on the horizon we had not only the Dark Avengers but the Thunderbolts as well as the Sinister Six it seems like the Thunderbolts have been prioritized seemingly with the Sinister Six rehoming over at Sony and if there truly are any aspirations for Marvel Studios to do a Dark Avengers and thusly a Dark Rain storyline, especially in the form of a theatrical release, then Disney Plus's streaming service is the perfect place to introduce the Thunderbolts not only for the dichotomy of long-form storytelling, but what's becoming an already very packed Marvel Phase 4 and Phase 5, where there may not have been enough production real estate in the past over at Marvel Studios to produce two separate supervillain teams. We now have Disney Plus seemingly doubling the number of productions that Marvel Studios wants to do, making two supervillain teams quite possible now even though it feels like, at least from our point of view, that Marvel Phase 4 and 5 are almost completely full. And speaking of completely full, how about this roster for the Thunderbolts in the MCU? Just how many members have we already seen? And with the post credit scene for Black Widow also presumably set as a prequel between the time of Civil War and Infinity War, how long has the Thunderbolts been in existence? Now, in the comics, originally the Thunderbolts was put together, at least the first iteration of the team, by a member we will have now in Baron Zemo, but it seems to look like they're going to go with a different iteration, one that's recruited by Thunderbolt Thaddeus Ross. Spoiler warning, as the post credit scene for Black Widow intended, I'll give you a chance to back out now. It looks like he will have already recruited Yelena Belova and Taskmaster, at least before Infinity War. And if you go ahead and add Baron Helmet, Zemo, who we know will be at least one of the main antagonists during the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show, making it highly unlikely he wouldn't join the team. That leaves four members, and there's also been a rumored appearance from Ghost, who we first saw in Ant-Man and the Wasp, making five, and although there have been a ton of members over the years in different iterations, everyone from the Punisher even over to the newly added to the MCU Deadpool, which, asterisk, I think it'll be a while before we see Deadpool, especially on a team like the Thunderbolts. It's got its own effect, its own aesthetic. They're an anti-hero team right on the line. Deadpool's got way too much going on with how he's going to be introduced in the MCU and way too much comic relief, at least for the first iteration of the Thunderbolts. I may be wrong, but I don't think tonally that's how they'd want to play that team. And if it is, then it would be a very different production than the Thunderbolts I'm expecting. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. I know we've been talking about it for quite a while here at the channel specifically, but the introduction of of the Thunderbolts and via a Disney Plus streaming show instead of a film like we all initially thought. And do you agree with me that there's not a lot of real estate
state for a ton of supervillain teams especially if they're also going to do the sinister six putting one in films and theaters putting one on disney plus and then putting one over at sony does sort of make sense at least for the next couple of phases let me know all your thoughts down in the comments and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 600,000 subscriber mark. If you wanna be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes we're giving away here at the channel, like the limited edition Infinity Saga box set. We just gave one away on New Year's Eve Eve. In fact, we've given away three PlayStation 4 Pros in the last month alone, one at the 550,000 subscriber mark and two more at the 500,000 subscriber mark. If you've missed any of those winner announcements as all the prizes have been awarded and delivered at this point, they're super easy to find. Just scroll back through the channel, look for the winner titles in the title of each video, scroll to the end of that, you'll hear all the winners announced. If you want to be entered to win the limited edition Infinity Saga box set, either of the Playstations or any of the future prizes we give away here at the channel, all the same rules apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, Leave a like and a comment on this video and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Again, all winners will be announced in video. If you've missed any of the past winners, just scroll through the channel. You'll find them there. My name's Michael Roman. This is everything always, guys. Thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around. We will be posting again real, real soon.